Yeah. You about it. They say they y'all deal with all the communications. Yeah, we do, but we are not in control of their radio frequencies. We program their radios so they can talk to us. So if you so program it, you have the if you program it, you have the information of it. Yes, but it's it's not ours to give out. It's I've already went I've already went down there and they told me to come here. So get, can you get on the phone and you need to call somebody then because I need to speak to somebody because this is bullcrap. It's public information. Get on the phone and let me figure out where I get this from. I want you to, I want, because Scott's the one that we haven't talked to and told me. Scott's down there. Scott Riker. Scott Riker? I don't know who that is. Well, call him on the phone. He's Belton Police Department. Okay. And, uh, because he done sent me over here and told me y'all the one that, that I need to speak to to get it. And I, no, I don't know why y'all covering that up. It's for, a freedom of information. If you're the one that programs them, you have the numbers and to, the frequencies to, t to give them out. Right. Okay, well, get on the phone then and figure that one out. Let me go find someone who can talk to you. It's public information. She, she don't want to be helpful. She's just being she don't want to be helpful. Rebecca's not very helpful. Let me set this down, too. That dude followed us from the police station. Yeah, he did. That's one of the detectives. He probably is. I know exactly. Hey, you detective? We the people, my ass. The thing is, they're covering up for their little little cover team they got in there. She just trying. She just trying to make it difficult. She's saying she can't give them away. Gonna, they told me. No matter where we can put the public records request. You, in you told me right there. Uh, you saw the police station. You yeah. told me to come right here. That's why he gave me the address. Yep. They're gonna send somebody out here to try and bully us. Watch. Well, that's why you got my back now. Shit. I got you. Administrative assistant, that's who she is. Mm -hmm. All she has to do is give you a, a public records request form so you can request the stuff that you're looking for. Or you could even write That'd be it too out. easy for her to do it, but yeah. It'd be too easy for them to do it. But. Did you see what vehicle that dude got out of? Yeah. Which one? I'm tracking the vehicle. Yeah, hey, go put a, you know, go film this license right. plate in this thing.
What's your name? You work here? What's your name? You don't answer questions like that? You work for the public, you don't answer questions? Correct. Wow. So how am I going to file a complaint on you if I can't get your name? Orange shirt tyrant? That's your name? Got everything out there. That orange dude didn't want to give me his name. I said, don't you work here? He said, yeah. I said, I mean, one of the ones, sure. He's a detective. You got his car? I got every car out there. Do you know which one he came in, though? Which one was it? The LTD one? Mm -mm. Is it real? Yeah, Mercury. Oh, interesting. That was the only vehicle that wasn't in the parking lot when we pulled in. And he's the only one that walked in the door. I'll double check the dash cam on my truck, but I'm pretty sure that was it. So she came back or he came back? He came in here and went to the desk and that's when I asked her, Rebecca's still missing. This is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Seriously. Yeah, because they're going to send me another. It, it doesn't work like that. You can't send somebody to the same place we just came from and they tell us no. And look at that flag, dude. Look how crappy that flag is all tore up like that. That white one right there. That's flag code, bro. Got it all tailored up like that, looking like trash. They don't care, man. That's the problem. They don't care. They don't care, but they want we, the people, to care about them and their job. Right? Yeah, that flag's all tore up right there. Yeah, no, you gotta use the phone. What phone? That phone right there. You gotta call zero. It says on the thing with the Or nine or something. They don't reach the desk where she needs to be. <clears throat> she just left her post, man. Staff director. There she is. Hi. So what's the... That's public record. You're lying. That's that's our policy. Policy's not. Lying. Yep, exactly. Well, until we hear confirmation. Yeah. So are you denying us public? Or are you denying? So you're denying us public records then? Well, first of all, I would need something in writing. Yeah. Okay. Well, give it Provide to me. It to us. Because you're just lying, Rebecca. So first of all, so Miss Rebecca, first you say that you can't give it to us. Now you're telling us you need it in writing. Which one is it? Which one is it? For public information request, I need something in writing. Give us the Public Information Act form right there. Can, can you please calm down? I'm trying to Whoa. help you and assist you. Hey, you're not trying to help us. You're no, trying, no, you're no, trying no. to roadblock us. You're a liar, Rebecca. No, I'm doing my job as I have. Yeah, you're, tra you're a trained slave is what you are. And don't ever assume my position. You're a trained monkey. You don't know how I feel. That's very rude and disrespectful. Hey, let me get one of those public record request forms as well. Like yep, I'm going to get information on you. Yeah, find them and say pay you a year to do nothing. How much they pay you a year to do nothing? So which one was it? You can't give it, or we need to fill this out. Which one was it? And a complaint form too for that guy, for that gentleman in the orange shirt. I want a complaint form because he came back here and he wouldn't identify himself. I don't know who he is, but I want a complaint form to file on you, and then I want a complaint form to file on that gentleman with the beard walking around orange shirt. 
Okay. Because your story changed. Yeah, because as soon as somebody wants to file charge, as soon as somebody has something to say bad about y'all, y'all don't have no complaint for them. That's probably part of your policy to have those as well. Yeah, you don't know nothing about it. I know, you know nothing. Your story changed three you know times when we came in here about the public information. Now you're telling us we can fill this out and, and, and have our request fulfilled. So you changed your story three times. I just want you to be aware that we're not as stupid as you think we are. And you changed your story three times. I'm done talking to you. Go about your day. That must be your boyfriend. Yeah, which I was gonna say, which what which 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 cop is your boyfriend, Rebecca? Or have you went through the whole police department already? Let's do records. They're outside that door speaking and carrying a conversation with somebody. Mm -hmm. So that's probably law enforcement. She said she don't have a complaint for him. This is what I got is a complaint for him. Yep. So and if you know I don't need a for you from I need a for you information piece of paper. Well, I'm gonna fill this up too because she doesn't. No, this hey, Rebe Rebecca, is this the is this the FOIA request right here? Yeah, that's the one we just put down in the additional. Where does it say where I'm giving where I'm where I'm asking for what I need? Uh, describe any specific information needed. Uh, the second block all the way to the left. Yeah. Just write what you're asking for in there. <sighs> Specify all, all of Belton's police department, fire, MES. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's all in the wording. Today? The 5th? Today the 5th? Uh, yeah, it might be. No, it's April. That yeah. was CJ right there. Yeah, it's April 5th. Can you read that back to me? Can I get a stamped and dated copy, please? Yes, sir. Uh, it's in the record um, for all of the County radio frequency mm -hmm. and all of the County EMS radio frequency. That's correct. Specify all. Yep. Just all. And you can go ahead and send them to that email right there. Could you read that back to me, please? Uh, Battlemountveteran.com. That's correct. Yes, sir. Can I get a stamped and dated copy, please? Here's your pin back. 
And what was the day you said? The May 5th? No, 8th. Oh. Oh. It's been a long week, bro. I know. I'm gonna give her a chance to to to. I'm, I'm gonna give her a chance to 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 be self accountable, and she can choose to do that and make herself look bad, or she can choose to do keep with her story and make herself look good. But I'm gonna give her that opportunity when you're done. She's gonna have to either do the right thing or. Thank you. CJ just sitting there in a green shirt. What's up, buddy? What's up, tough guy? What's your name, tough, tough buddy? Who hey, you calling a tough guy, asshole? Tough guy. Why don't you come out here and show me who's a tough guy, buddy? Tough guy. You work for the public. You gonna talk like that? You ain't nothing. Hey, who's that? That's guy? your girlfriend right there? Hey. Rebecca, your girlfriend? Hey, hey you a who's, punk? Who's that guy's supervisor? What's his name? Who's that? That's CJ. What's, hey, CJ, where you going, you punk? Hey. Well, what's that? What's that dork's name? I'm not gonna tell you someone else's name, sir. Okay, let me talk to your supervisor. He's not here. I need to speak to. Of course he's not. Of course he's not. I need to you, speak you're to covering you. up for your boyfriend now. Let me speak to your a supervisor. A supervisor? Yes, ma'am. Whoever's in charge of that gentleman right there, does he work in this office? Miss Rebecca, does that gentleman work in this office? Yes, sir. Okay, I need to speak to a supervisor in charge of this office. And I don't need a card. I need to speak to somebody immediately, because that type of action needs to be. That yeah, needs you're, to be, that needs you're, to be you're covering up. Stop covering up for him. That's, they're supposed to be transparent. Stop covering up for him, Rebecca. I don't care if that's your friend or not. Whatever it is, you date him. Whatever it is, you need to go ahead and do your job and get us a supervisor because he's gonna stay here and talk trash, call somebody a tough guy. I'll t I'll, hey, Texas is a mutual combat. He can go out up there with me any day, any day, woman. Where's his supervisor? I need to speak to his supervisor. Because that type, that type of behavior needs to be addressed immediately. Okay. Yeah, go find somebody. I got him. I got him. Don't worry about it. I'll find out exactly who he is. But I promise you, he don't want these problems. I'll, I'll get him. Don't worry. I'm gonna make him come out here too. Watch, watch, watch. We're gonna address this problem. Watch. He could have kept his mouth shut, dude. He, he could have kept his mouth shut, and then we've been out of here. But he wouldn't run his mouth. Okay. Protect his little girlfriend. There's gotta be something going on there, but I'm gonna address the issue because if I don't understand what his, what his reasoning behind that comment is, we're about to find he out. He called us tough guys. I mean, so I if he's tough on it, he come up. He's not tough because mm -hmm. he's got a little badge on and he's going back there to run around and hide. That's okay. We'll resolve this. Yeah, you know, talk trash behind a locked door. That's that, that that tells you his character right there. Yeah. He won't come out that door. So just I'm just gonna keep overwatch. Let's see if his mic comes by. What does that say? Admin internal IT? That's IT, okay. See, this is the type of behavior that, that I'm not going to put up with. <laughs> we was about to roll out. He had to run his mouth, man. I know. He just had to say something, defend his little girl. I'm pretty sure that's his girlfriend, or his wife, or his fiance, or something, or his sister. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But that, that's the problem right there. That's the problem with the communication, man. We no. That's that's not gonna that's not gonna fly. I'm find his license plate. <coughs>
Look, 320. January, February, March, 20. So this person don't even have to, LT don't even have to have an inspection sticker. Natalie, to, Natalie Traspasta. Natalie Traspasta, huh? Yep, January, February, March. How you doing? Can I help you? Yeah, ask for help. Sit out here on a people's dollar, wasting money. February, March, April. Name and badge number. Brett. P R E T T. Brett. Brett. Yes, sir. 66. Did they call you? They did. They called you. Uh, somebody assigned. Okay. For what? He said that you guys were up here. Maybe call some, some people some names. Did y'all no, names? you know, the guy over here told, called me a tough guy. I said, he said right there, tough guy. And I told him, I said, if you got a problem with me, why don't you come outside then? You got in the window. One of your guys that are working, well, man, you, you need to check you your boys, man. Over there, they got some really nasty, attitude, nasty attitudes. And if they don't want to get caught, if they don't want to be held accountable, then they shouldn't speak in that manner. Hey, you know one, hey one other thing. There's a crime right there in that car. That, that's over one year. That car right there, whoever's running that car, it's one year over on the inspection sticker. That car right there. So, and that car probably works there. The name is in the car. I got, already got the I can't name. I tell you that the registration hasn't listed until the 14th of April. Yeah, but that's from 2020. Okay, but that's it. That's it's one exempt, year ago. It's exempt from all registration. Until oh, the 14th. so employed. Okay. Yeah, okay, I get it. Y'all, no crimes for y'all. I'll tell you something, Brad. If they're just calling you here to enforce some feelings, 
I need to speak with a supervisor. That doesn't that either okay. whether you're here or not. I can tell you this isn't also the city's building. This is actually the county's building. I know what it is. So I'll get with the, them and I'll try and get a, a proper supervisor for the. Well, there's the supervisor on hand that don't want to walk out here and communicate with me. Okay. So the problem is, okay. is that when you got somebody over there trying to challenge somebody that works for we the people, we got a problem. I want that gentleman's name. I want his supervisor's name, and I need a complaint form so I can file a complaint on him. I'll see what I can do for you. I said, uh, this is not our building, so I've only been in here one time. Look at that car running. They like to leave that car running. Name and badge number. Name and badge number. What about it? Name and badge number. Is that a question? That is a question. Oh. My name is Officer Tolbert, badge number 58. What have you been called here for? I'll be right back with you, okay? No, yeah, I'll, I'll follow you in. Hello. No, go ahead. All right, I'm, you're not going to walk behind me. Oh, do whatever you want. But I ain't breaking no laws. Don't be a coward. I ain't, Don't be a coward. I ain't going to walk behind you. Don't be a coward here, buddy. You're a coward. Get inside there, coward. Thanks, bud. Excuse me. Uh -huh. This dude will size you up, man. Watch this. Yeah, guy. I know. I can already tell. He's already got his hands on his gun. Look at this coward. Uh, I'm just You're honest. a coward. Don't walk behind me, you coward. All right, bro. We don't mean you know that. We're here to handle business. But okay, hey, handle your business. I'm here to do the same. Appreciate it, man. You all have a good day? It's pretty out. You don't have a good side, buddy. I promise yeah, you that. I do. Whatever, <laughs> you ain't got no good side. Well, maybe to your mama, but not to me, buddy. My mama tells you. I'm sure your mama loves you, but I don't. He's a technician, like an IT system technician. Now she's answering questions. Dude, she's she's compliant. Oh, now you're compliant, Rebecca. She's compliant now. It must be my must be something about me she don't like. It's your skin. Bro. I think it's my skin exactly. Skin. Funny thing is, they don't even know that I'm Hispanic. They just I just look white. Y'all got a request. Yeah, I got three requests, dude, that we were trying to fill out. But this, so look, check it out. Let me Let's tell you, Tolliver. Let me tell you, Tolliver. We came in here, right? Uh -huh. We came in here to get the information that we were requiring, right? Miss Rebecca told us here that we couldn't get that information. She told us that she couldn't give it to us, that we would have to request it through somewhere else. All mm -hmm. right? We've already checked with Lieutenant Fields. We already checked with Mr. Scott. Mr. Scott gave us the address to come over here to get the information because he said this is where we would request it, right? Mm -hmm. Cool. We did that. Ms. Rebecca started getting real aggressive and nasty with her tone of voice and her condescending tone and her passive aggressiveness. And it was like, okay, we'll let that slide for a bit. And then she got nasty. Okay. Okay. At that point in time, look, at that point in time, Tolliver, uh -huh. it's not about 
you know, you think you're up here. At that point, it's about your job, yeah. right? Okay. It's about your job, right? She still needs to maintain a certain level of professionalism when she speaks to we the people, right? Just as you or just as the guy that orders his burger across the menu, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay? Okay. Respect goes both ways. She didn't want to work with us. So we started to get the information. Finally, we started to, I started to tell her, no, no, that information is wrong. Just give us a public record request and then we can fill out our information. Mm -hmm. She goes back there, wastes 10 minutes of our time, comes back and tells us, no, Chief Bird and Lieutenant Fields or another deputy chief needs to sign off on it. Incorrect. It's public information. Dude, we don't have anything. Chill out. All right, I understand your situational awareness, dude. I've been in Iraq three times. Oh, go ahead, keep talking. He's looking at you every time you reach out. Oh, yeah, I can tell this guy. He's a punk. He's a coward and a punk. He's a coward and a punk. Yeah, you're trying to sign. You're a coward and a punk, dude. I understand. Man, I'm enjoying this. I'm listening. No, he's a coward and a punk. Yeah. Don't, don't even explain this guy. He doesn't even want to learn. He's not even worth talking to. This guy just, he's just sitting over here buying time, doing nothing but sitting here, me mugging me like he's somebody, oh, he's, and he's not. He's just wasting our time keeping us here on scene in case she has something to complain about to, so they can arrest us. That's what he's waiting on. I already know what they do. Look, so anyways, uh, she she gave us the form finally. So I asked her. I said, Mr. Becker, I said, which one is it? I said, your story changed three times. I said, first you told us we couldn't get it. Then you told us that you needed it needed to be signed off. Mm -hmm. Sign off on it. Okay? And then you're telling me now that you could just fill out the form and get the form recorded and then we can get our information okay okay that's what we did this is this first form here mm -hmm. let me know when you're done oh no yeah go ahead it was just loud go ahead i'm listening okay so we got our forms we filled out our information and as we're i turned mine in he hadn't even got his turned in yet i was getting stamped and dated copy right okay. i got it in. when we sat right here that jumped over there, that jumped over Look how this pig keeps his car. Just like a pig sign. Got multiple bottles of Gatorade, water. Bang, huh? He's drinking EEA Amino Bang. I guess that's a. I guess that's a one of those power drinks or something. They got us surrounded and foul mouthed me. They, they, they're so scared, man. The cops around here are so chicken shit. It's 